عليك لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود and you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are <laughs> Hello and welcome. We are live on air. Are you ready? Welcome guys. I hope you're ready because I am ready. So let us do this. Welcome, God bless you, God bless your loved ones, thank you for joining in. Someone told me that CP is going to be uh, live too in about two hours, so this is going to be a perfect opportunity to watch my show, so invite your friends guys, watch my show, and then we can switch to our dear brother, a true legend, a true brother in Christ, Christian Prince. So guys, invite your friends, let us start and explain and teach about the three stages of jihad the three stages of jihad let us start now as you see this cutie pie here on the screen mr abdullah zubair he said and i quote Jihad will continue until all the Hindus, Christians, Buddhists, atheists are killed. Your secularism and tolerance cannot change our ideology. Quran does not permit survival of non-Muslims. This is a nice cutie pie, a nice jihadi, a true Muslim, not these sugar-coated Wanna be Muslims here in the West. Right? <clears throat> Before we start, guys, I want to ask you to pray with me. I think it's a good habit to pray in the name of our Lord and Savior so our stream and our guests in the live chat and our audience can be blessed. So Please pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers. And thank you for your ultimate grace. Jesus is risen and risen is he indeed. al Masih qam. Haqqan qam. Hallelujah. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death. And thank you for my lovely audience and subscribers who are always supporting us day in, day out. Please bless them and bless their loved ones and families. Please, Lord. Keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this Corona virus. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Father, so that you can direct our words, thoughts and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement, any taqiyya lies, makr, or any doubt, Lord. Please help us honor you in all our ways. Jesus, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who might be in need and might be seeking for the truth. Please, Lord, open their eyes so also they can be saved as we are saved through your blood, through your holy blood, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and loosen my tongue today so I can speak the truth without any error or any shame. And give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody. On this live show, we will have the opportunity today to explain and expose the three stages of Jihad. Yes, you heard it correctly. There are three stages of Jihad. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, open Skype today because we have a short window, right? 
We have a very small window because our dear brother Christian Prince is going to stream in about two hours. But we'll see. Um, the, the admins can give our Skype ID in the chat. My Skype ID is DRob Christian. We'll see if I am going to open my Skype. All right. Let's see what this teaching, how far it will take us. Welcome, everybody. Let us start. The three stages of jihad. Yes, you heard it correctly. Why do Muslims have to lie, guys? Have you ever asked yourself this question? Muslims who are watching, why do you have to lie? Why do you have to lie when you debate us? Why do you have to lie and say that Islam means peace? We know that Islam means submission to Allah and Muhammad. You cannot disobey Muhammad in Islam. The moment you do disobey Muhammad himself, uh, you are already out of Islam. Right? So that says actually something about who Muhammad is in Islam, how important Muhammad is in Islam. So Muslims, why do you have to lie always and use taqiyya when you debate Christians? What is taqiyya actually? It's basically in a nutshell lying and deception, Mecca of Allah, Mecca of the Prophet of Islam, in Islam. And one of the Sahaba, Abu Darda said, we smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them. So when a Muslim is acting nice in your face, guys, a Muslim who actually knows Islam, when he is smiling in your face, he is trying to be friendly with you, he is actually only smiling in your face, but in his heart he's cursing you. Don't forget when Muslims pray five times a day, they repeat the curses of Allah on the Jews and the Christians. They repeat the curses of Allah on the Jews and the Christians at least five times a day when they pray. That's actually when they repeat it, it becomes 70 times a, uh, a day at least. 70 times they repeat the curses of Allah on the Jews and the Christians. Do you see uh, the double standards here? Do you see the hypocrisy of the Muslims? The same Muslims who tell you, Oh, Islam means peace, brother. Brother, speaking from cave, hero, hero. Suddenly, Islam is not submission, surrender to the will of Allah and His Prophet. No, it's suddenly Islam means peace, brother. Peace, brother? I think he is trying to say Islam means pieces, and we are going to prove it today. Sahih al-Bukhari, Abu Darda, as we mentioned, a companion and pupil of Muhammad said, we smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them. Al-Bukhari said that Al-Hasan said, the taqiyya or taqiyya deception on behalf of Islam is allowed until the day of resurrection. So where are those Muslim Sunnis who say that taqiyya is only for the Shia? Are you liars. These are Sunni quotations. Deception, maker of Allah and his prophet. Commanding, commenting on this hadith, Ibn Shiyab said, one of the transmitters said, lies are allowed in three cases, in war, and remember, debating is war for Muslims. So when they debate you, on any topic, they are going to use taqiyya, makr, deception. For them, debating is war. It's a holy jihad, it's war. And on the second part is in the narration of the words of a husband to his wife. So even a Muslim man can lie to his wife to try to keep, you know, they call it a white lie, to, cut, to try to keep the marriage healthy. Imagine you are allowed as a Muslim man to lie to your wife to keep your marriage healthy. And in the narration of the words of a wife to her husband. So a wife can also lie to her husband and call it a white lie. What kind of marriage, what kind of love story is this Muslims? What kind of love story is this in Islam when a wife can lie to her husband and a husband can lie to his wife? Guys, I want to ask you to not to, uh, to forget to subscribe. Smash that like button, guys. If you want to support us through Patreon, this is the link. 
<clears throat> so invite your friends guys let us teach you exactly what the three stages are the three stages of jihad in the west now take your pens out take take your papers out and start taking some notes these are the three stages of jihad stage one Muslims are the minority let's say in a country like America in the United States and must obey the laws of the western country they live in and the taqiyya mode is on so Muslims have nothing to say they must obey the rules the laws of the United States maybe the United Kingdom uh, maybe Germany, whatever country, Western country they have live in, they have to obey, pay taxes, right? And the taqiyya mode is on. That's stage one. Did you catch it, guys? Are you still following? Give me one if you're still following me, guys. Give me one if you're still following me. If this is crystal clear for you. So that's stage one. They have no power. They are the minority in a city like let's say New York and they have to obey so the taqiyya mode is on they will try to act friendly to you they will try to tell you how peaceful Islam is right but when we go to stage two Muslims might be the majority let's say a city like Deborn in Michigan in in, uh, in the United States that's a city that is full of Muslims they are the majority in some neighborhoods, right, or a city or a community, but, but must still obey the laws of the western country they live in. And still the taqiyya mode is on, so they still, you know, because they have no power, yes they are the majority, right, but they have to still obey the rules of that country. They have to pay taxes. And the taqiyya mode is still on. They will try to act friendly to you. But still in their hearts they are cursing you. If you are an atheist, you are a Christian, you are a Jew, whatever. Right? But stage 3, and that's actually the true face of Islam. Stage 3. Muslims conquered that land that you are living in. Let's say, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid that one day... Muslims conquer, let's say, uh, the United States. I know the, the, the United States too, too too smart for that, but you know, that's their wish. If Muslims conquered, let's say, the United States and implemented Sharia law in the United States and started to force jizya, which is mafia protection money, on Christians. If you don't pay jizya, which is the mafia protection money, and feel subdued, feel humiliated and disgraced, you must leave that country as a man, together with your loved ones. If you don't want to become a Muslim, and you don't want to pay jizya, you don't want to convert to Islam, you have to pay jizya, or else, you don't want to pay jizya, you're going to get killed, and they will take your women, your wives and daughters, as sex slaves. Did you catch it? Speaking from cave, hero, hero. If you don't convert to Islam and you don't want to pay jizya, they will ask you to leave. You don't want to leave. They are going to kill you. They're going to behead you. They will crucify you. Right? They will cut off your head and they will take your women as sex slaves. Did you catch it, guys? This is the real face of Islam. Stage three, when they don't have to use taqiyya and mecca anymore. Do you see it? Taqiyya mode is off. 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 Right? Do you see here it's on. Stage one. Stage two also still on because they have no power. But here they have all the power. They have taken over the country. They conquered the country. And they start to implement the Sharia law of Allah and Muhammad. And there is no need to lie anymore and say that Islam means peace, brother. No. They will take your women as sex slaves. Your daughter. People, Christians who are watching. If you think that Islam is so beautiful. 
Mr. Obama, what is Obama? Obama, 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 Obama. Islam is a beautiful, peaceful religion, brother, said Obama. Remember what Obama used to say about Islam? Quoting passages out of context. That's the real face of Islam, guys. That's stage three, right here, right there. Do you see it? I think this is a very important lesson for some people who have no clue or maybe don't know much about Islam. That's the real face of Islam right there. This is why I put a big white, let's say circle or, around it. When Muslims are in power, the true face of Islam comes free. Do you see it? Islam means peace, brother. Yeah, it means peace, but they will take your women and children uh, as sex slaves, brother. They will behead you, brother. So uh, the peace turns into pieces, right? Muslims, that's what you're trying to say, right? Islam means hack you to, into pieces. Hack you. <laughs> right? Cut you off your head and take your women as sex slaves, brother. You don't like it? Not my problem, not my business. Right, Mr. Jihadi boy? Jihad will continue until all the Hindus, Christians, Buddhists, atheists are killed. Your secularism, tolerance cannot change our ideology. This Abdullah Zubair said. That's his quotation, right? Quran does not permit survival of non-Muslims. That's the true stage three jihad right in front of you, in your face. If there are political correct Christians here watching, you must wake up from that nightmare, that deception that Muslims taught you. This is the true face of Islam. This is the true face of the third stage of Islam. The third stage of Jihad in the West. They will take over. They will take your women as captives and sex slaves. Your daughter that you love so dearly is going to become a sex slave to an unknown jihadi, right? This is what you want, uh, political Christian liberals here in the West. This is what you want. This is why you want those people to infiltrate your Western countries. What freedom of speech, when they take over, what freedom of speech do you think will be there? Hmm? Islam, if you truly love your freedom, people who are listening, if you truly love your freedom, you love your Western country, then stop voting for these governments that say, especially those liberals, those Democrats, demo. Rats, don't vote for them, right? Who want to destroy your beautiful Western countries. Don't vote for these Democrats, Democrats, right? Anyway, guys, let me show you the true faces of, of Muslims when they are on Discord. Here we have a Discord jihadi boy who is not afraid to come out and use, you know, uh, the true face, explain the true face of Islam. This jihadi, Send me this message. Rob Christian, and I quote, guys, take notes. This is, these are the true Muslims with, with taqiyah mode off, right? Taqiyah mode, deception mode is off. Rob Christian, and I quote, as I said, I am proud to be Muslim slash terrorist. At least this guy is, uh, is honest, man. You see, taqiyah mode is off. You know, this guy didn't know that I was going to make a screenshot, a snapshot, and use it against him in the court of law. Photoshop, brother. Yeah, Photoshop, brother. This is Discord, brother. It's Photoshop, brother. Rob Christian, you are using Photoshop, brother. And this guy is still active on Discord, by the way. Here is another Abdul by the name of AK. Another jihadi boy. I think he's from France. Do you see it? He's from France. When the final jihad comes, we Muslims, and I quote, guys, look what this guy is saying. He sent me this message. We Muslims will spill an ocean of the dirty, impure kufar blood. That is your blood, Christians. Atheists, 
who are watching, Christians, Jews, Buddhists, Hindus, if you are watching, this guy is talking about all of us. There is no exception. All the kuffar, dirty kuffar blood will flow. They will kill you. And they will take you women, your precious daughters as sex slaves, brother. Islam will rule from east to west, this donkey jihadi boy, text terrorist says. From north to west, to, uh, sorry, from east to west, north to south, the banner of Tawheed will shine bright, brother. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Uh, do you, guys, do you still want to vote for the liberals and allow these donkey, these murderers to enter your countries? Anyone who wants to vote for the Democrats? Rats, 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 rats. Go ahead, be my guest. Allow these donkeys to infiltrate your beloved countries. Here is another donkey. Let me make this bigger. Ibn al Juran, Rob Christian. He sent me this quote a couple months ago. You have two months to repent or else, brother, brother. Brother. And I'm still waiting for him to send me, uh, maybe he wanted to send me flowers. I don't know, what, what will happen in two months, brother? Are you asking me for a dinner? Bro, I'm not into men, man. I, I have to, Ibn Juran, listen, brother, listen, I am not into men. I'm not gay like you, man. Sorry, I have to disappoint you, all right? If you want to invite me for a dinner. You know, I like flowers, though. If you want to send me flowers in two months, that's okay. Right? Or else, or else, I'm going to kill you and take your wife and daughters as sex slaves, brother. If you don't convert to Islam, or else, or else, or else. <sighs> Guys, do you still believe that Islam is peace, brother? After we explain to you the three stages of jihad, do you still believe that Islam is peace? And this same donkey, someone, one of our friends, I, I tried to hide his name. Do you see? This is the guy who sent me the death threat. This Christian sent me a private message and said, That Abdul that was threatening you will swim and drink water with dead dogs. You remember his talking about that hadith because he said he said it's okay to use it to wash yourself in the well of Buddha that has stinking garbage in it dead dogs carcasses of dead dogs and menstrual blood of women menstruation blood of women in the well of Buddha because Muhammad said it's okay to do evolution wash yourself in that well and he says this this guy who this Brain dead idiot who sent me the death threat. He said, it's okay to use it to wash yourself in the well of Buddha. Right? So uh, the Christian said, that Abdul who tre was threatening you will swim and drink water with dead dogs. And I replied, yes, he's a nice donkey. And I'm not trying to insult any real donkey. So to the donkeys, please don't feel insulted when we call these people donkeys. Yes, water is pure, brother. The water of Buddha is pure, brother. Nothing can make it impure, said the Prophet of Islam. So these donkeys here that are sending us death threats are actually branded, they are brainwashed, and they actually believe when they are going to wage jihad, the holy war on us, they believe also that a small well cannot become polluted by garbage, dead dogs, carcasses of dead dogs in it, and all kind of stinking garbage in it, and menstrual blood of women. Imagine, that's these backwards jihadi donkeys believe in, right? The same guy, yes. Guys, what about Khaybar? Guys, remember when Muhammad was too stupid to understand that when you kill someone, let's say the Jewish woman, remember the story how Muhammad got poisoned in Khaybar? 
Imagine you kill someone's parents, you kill some a father, mother, you take the women as sex slaves, you kill the uncles, the cousins, the brothers of a lady, and this lady wants to prepare food for you. Muhammad, Muhammad of the Prophet of Islam, are you that stupid to not understand that this lady might put poison in your food? Right? So Muhammad was poisoned. And according to Aisha, she has never seen anyone suffer in agony like Muhammad from the poison of Khaybar. And still till today, Muslims, they walk on the streets and scream, Khaybar, Khaybar, Ya Yahud. Khaybar, Khaybar, O oh Jews, right? Khaybar, Khaybar, Ya Yahud. The army of Muhammad will come back, will return. Khaybar, Khaybar, Ya Yahud. Jeshu, right? The army of Muhammad, Sofa Ya'ud. That's what they are screaming on the streets, right? With rocks in their hands. Till today they do this. They are reminding the Jews how they poisoned and killed the Prophet of Islam. Their Prophet. Where was Allah to protect Muhammad from the poison? Right? Khaybar, Khaybar, Ya Yahud, Jaishu Muhammad, Sawfa Ya'ud. Muslims are screaming. Why not the Jaish of uh, Allah? Why the Jaish of Muhammad? Why the army of Muhammad? It seems that Muhammad and Allah are the same guy, right guys? Why are you not screaming the army of Allah will return? Why the army of Muhammad? I mean Muhammad is dead and rotting in his grave somewhere in Medina. What's wrong with you Muslims? Anyway, that's the, that's the knowledge, that's the, the intelligence, the intellectual level of the Muslims. Khaybar Khaybar Ya Yahud Jaishu Muhammad Sofa Yahud The army of Muhammad will come back, will return. This is true love story for, from the Muslims to the Jews, right? Look how love story, what kind of love story this is. We should ask uh, Steven Spielberg to create a movie about how peaceful and loving Muslims are towards the Jews, brother. I think this movie is going to get an Oscar, but we have to wait to, you know, get of this lockdown. Maybe uh, we need to phone up uh, Steven Spielberg or uh, George Lucas to make another movie, you know, a non-political uh, correct movie. Right. True love story of Muslims for the Jews. Uh, guys, you, you have seen my intro video, right? I always play the intro video where that kid, that brainwashed kid with a lot of echo, 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 right? This is why we always use echo because Muslims, when they quote hadith or, you know, or the Quran, they always use echo mode. I don't know why, guys. <laughs> Every Jew must die, right? Else the judgment day will not be established according to the Prophet of Islam. They always quote that hadith, right? Even the stones will scream and shout, scream and shout, there's a Jew behind me, come and kill him, O Muslim. Even the stones will speak, brother. There's a Jew behind me, come and kill him. Except the Jewish trees, which are the Gharqat, right? Those are Jewish trees, they will not become rats, right, and say there's a Jew behind me, because those are G Jewish trees, brother. And we know Muhammad cut down trees, burned trees of Beni Nadir. Guys, Beni Nadir was a tribe in Medina. Those were, was a Jewish tribe in Medina. Muhammad expelled them, right? They, he kicked them out from Medina, and not only that, he cut off and burned their trees. Their only life support. They used to get food from those trees, right? Dates and whatnot. So he cut off their trees and burned their trees. And Muslims love to tell you, Muhammad never cut off trees. You liars, shame on you. You see the taqiyah mode again? Guys, do you see the taqiyah mode again? Muhammad never cut down trees. You liars. Muhammad cut down the trees, the life support of Beni Nadir and he expelled them from Medina.
right? Muhammad never cut down trees, brother. You scumbags, you liars, you deceivers. What about chapter 9, ayat 29, Rob Christian? The famous chapter, Al-Qital, right? We call it chapter Al-Qital. The chapter of the sword, that's the nickname of this chapter. It's one of the last chapters that Muhammad gave to his followers, right? He called it divine revelation. We give it the nickname chapter of the sword, Surat at tawbah They call it mercy, but it has nothing to do with mercy. It's all about fighting. It's all about killing of non-Muslims, right? The chapter of the sword. Take notes, when we, when we ever speak about chapter of the sword, the chapter of fighting, this is it, chapter 9 of the Quran. Take notes. <sighs> Guys, when we ask Muslims, what does chapter 9, ayah 28 and 29 says? Please explain it to us because, you know, maybe we are stupid. We, are, we, we, we don't know your Quran. Explain it to us. What's the context behind it? Guys, if you want to know the context behind chapter 9, 28, 29, you have to listen carefully. Take notes, please. Right? Take notes. But before I continue, guys, I, I'm out of water. Let me be right back. I have to grab some water. Two minutes break, guys, and we will continue. All right? Two minutes break, and we will continue. Drinking break. Be right back. Yeah, Rooney? Yo, Carl, hitting the clubs? Got a case of Red Bull? Gonna pull an all-nighter. You down? Yeah. Hey, how's it? It's me, Carl! I'm here! How's it? I'm here! Carl, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Who were those guys? Oh, that's Rooney, my new friend Lee. He's a male nurse. <laughs> we hit a couple of raves last night. It was totally off the hook. Yeah, you seem a little hyper. I had a couple of Red Bulls. Have you ever had a Red Bull? I never had a Red Bull before, but I had a Red Bull last night. I really like Red Bull. I got a new necklace. Glows in the dark. But you can't really see it right now. Unless you do this. That's really something. Doesn't Red Bull make you crash pretty hard? No, 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 no. I don't think so. No. Uh, no. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfruta un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. All right, we're back, guys. I hope uh, you had something to drink. Guys, I hope you didn't laugh too much. I mean, come on, man. It's just a commercial break, guys. And I'm not getting any more money because of this, you know. Uh, Jim Carrey did not send me any money, any dollars, brother. All right? I just, you know. Yeah. It is what it is, guys. <laughs> Yeah, you know, guys, you know, I was like, you know, we are in a leg down. Let me work on my designs. Let me, you know, do something funny. I'm not sure if that was funny, but, you know, I think Jim Carrey cracks me up. Anyway, so let us explain the chapter of the sword, especially what Muhammad said and did, right? What did Muhammad actually uh, say and do when he was in Mecca? Right? Muhammad, after conquering Mecca, guys, this is the context of chapter 9, ayah 28, 29, take notes. When Muhammad was in Mecca, he said, right? He said, and he claims that it's Allah, but we know it's Muhammad. He said, O people who believe, O Muslims, right? This is the context, guys. The polytheists are filthy. So the mushrikun, right? Al mushrikun and najis. Filthy, they are disgusting. Jews and Christians, atheists, all of you, you are disgusting. Why, Christians? Because we call Jesus the Son of God. And according to Islam, that's shirk, right? 
So the Mushrikun are najis. Al Mushrikun are najis. So after this year, do not allow them come near Masjid Al Haram. Right? That's in Mecca, right? This is why till today there are signs, you know, when you drive on the road to Mecca, you will see signs, right? Just Google it, you will see them. It says to this side, the Muslims, to that side, you are not allowed. You have to go, I think it's left. The unbelievers are not allowed to enter Mecca. Till today, non-Muslims are not allowed to enter Mecca. And that's because of this ayah, right? We are too filthy, and this is the super Marxist, racist religion, racist Muslims, till today are, you know, as if, as if we want to go to the desert, but anyway, right? We are too dirty, filthy to enter Mecca. But if you are afraid to become poor, you fear poverty, right? This is the context. So Muhammad is saying to the Muslims, to his Sahaba, to the companions, if you fear to become poor, take notes guys, please, help me to help you. If you Muslims are fearing to become poor, you, be, you fear poverty, don't worry, be happy, Allah will enrich you, make you wealthy with His grace, if He wills. Indeed, Allah is blah, 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 blah. You see it? Do loss of trade, because Guys, you need to understand this. The moment Muhammad start to forbid any atheist, any Christian, any Jew, whatsoever, everyone who is not Muslim to enter Mecca, that means the trading stops, right? Muslims cannot trade anymore in Mecca. And they started to, you know, scream at Muhammad, Muhammad, what are you doing? We will become poor. And all, Muhammad says, don't worry, be happy, I have a solution. I have a solution, I have a solution, solution, solution. What's that solution, uh, Prophet of Islam? The Muslims are asking. Muslims, don't worry, you don't have to work anymore. You don't have to trade with unbelievers anymore. Don't worry, be happy, I have a solution for you. And what's that solution? It's jizya, brada, from the people of the book. Fight them, fight the Jews and the Christians. You see it? Fight against the people of the book who do not accept Allah and the last day and who do not treat as forbidden what is forbidden by Allah and Muhammad. You see, you have always to obey Muhammad. And who do not follow Islam, the true religion, right? They call it the true religion, it's Islam. Until they pay the jizya, right? Jizya, al-jizya. This is the word, al-jizya. Mafia protection money with their own hands with humiliation to feel humiliated and disgraced. Do you see it? Uh, Muslims who dare to say, I'm talking to the Muslims. Mayday, mayday. You Muslims, when you say and lie to us and use taqiyya, you say jizya means tax brother. It means tax brother. No, it does not, you filthy liar. Shame on you. You Muslims have no shame when you call jizya tax. It's not tax, it's mafia protection money from the cult leader, the mafia leader of Muhammad and his army of mafia. Mafia protection money. They force the Christians to pay jizya. They must feel disgraced, subdued and humiliated. Now Muslims, when you pay, let's say, tax in America, in the United States or in London, United Kingdom. Do you feel subdued, humiliated and disgraced? No. So guys, this is the real context. Muhammad decides to not allow filthy unbelievers like the Jews, Christians, atheists, whatever, to not enter Mecca anymore, right? Because we are filthy, disgusting prophet. This is a prophet of God? Anyway, let it go guys. And the solution for the Muslims screaming, brother, what did you do? We will become poor. Muhammad says, don't worry, be happy. I have a solution, solution, solution. What is that, the prophet of Islam, brother? With the long beard, brother? That's jizya, brother. You pay jizya, brother? 
From you take jizya from the Christians, brother, from the people of the book, brother, and you are not going to become poor, brother. Your only job is to do jihad, 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 right? Remember, guys, the only job of Muslims is conquer the whole world in the name of Islam, in the name of Muhammad. Khaybar, Khaybar, Ya Yahud, Jaisu Muhammad, Sofa Yahud. The army of Muhammad will return, right? So the only job of the Muslims is fight and kill. Fight to kill, not fight to kiss. Not, you know. A kiss from a rose. No, it's fight to kill, brother. Fight to kill, brother. Yeah. The army of Muhammad. Killing. If you don't convert to Islam. Or else we will take... Your women, your daughters as sex slaves. We will hack you to, into pieces, brother. We will kill you if you don't convert to Islam and don't want to pay jizya as a Christian. Right? Do we have any Muslim? Guys, how long does it take till CP's life? Do we have still enough time to, to explain things or are we out of time? Anyone? The admins? Admins, how long? How, how, how many minutes do we have? Because I don't want to become a stumbling block for this true brother of mine, Christian Prince. I love him. I love this guy. He's a true legend. A living legend. Okay, we have, oh, okay, we have enough time. We have 45 minutes, 46 minutes. That's, that's great. That's great. So guys... Muslims who dare to say, Rob Christian, you are lying. That's not the context be behind chapter 9, ayah 28 and 29. I mean, it's in front of you, right? You can read, right? Let us go to Ibn Kathir. What about Ibn Kathir? One of the tafsir daddies, right? This is tafsir commentary from Ibn Kathir for chapter 9, 28 and 29. Do you see it? This is Ibn Kathir. Who knows Islam better than Ibn Kathir, brother? So if we scroll down, right? If we scroll down, we can read what Ibn Kathir is reporting and explaining. So do let them not come near Al Masjid Al Haram, Mecca, after this year, Muhammad said to his followers, to the Muslims. This ayah indicates that idolaters, people who associate partners with Allah, are filthy. You know, this is false translation. It's filthy. It's dirty. Impure is uh, sugar-coated translation. Taqiyya mode on, on, on in the translation. Right? Welcome, uh, Sila. God bless you. Nice to have you here. People who just joined, uh, you really missed a lot. Right? Because the topic of today is, are the three stages of jihad. You need to rewatch this, guys. I think this is one of the most important videos for people who do not know the true face of Islam. You need to rewatch this live show, guys. This is important. Please download this video when we are done. YouTube needs, let's say, around 45 minutes till process the video, right? So make sure to download our videos, spread them around on social media. The truth must go out, guys. So let us go back. Right? So this ayah indicates that the unbelievers, the mushrikun, are dirty, filthy, and that the believers are pure. So the Muslims are only pure. Do you see this super racist, racist religion of Muhammad? So if we scroll down, and then here comes the, the meat. Here, this is the meat, guys. I know this is a lot of meat to handle, guys, but this is how... To understand the context behind the two ayahs. Chapter 9, 28 and 29. Back to back. And if you fear poverty, Muhammad is saying. If you are afraid to become poor. Allah will enrich you out of his bounty. Bounty brother. Bounty brother. So the people, the Muslims started to complain. Guys, look the context. Look at the context. The Muslims are complaining to Muhammad. Muhammad, brother, Muhammad, what are you doing? Our markets will be closed. We will become bankrupt. 
We will become bankrupt, the Muslims are saying to Muhammad. What are you doing if you stop the unbelievers to enter Mecca because you're calling them disgusting, dirty, filthy? Our commerce, our markets will be closed. We will become poor. We will go bankrupt. And what we earned will vanish. Do you see it, guys? So Allah then revealed this verse. So you see how Rob Christian is not lying to you guys? Did you catch that I'm not lying? This is Tafsir ibn Kathir. Tafsir ibn Kathir. Not Rob Christian. Right? And if you fear poverty, Allah will enrich you out of his bounty. Which is that bounty? Jizya, brother. And whatnot. And resources that you got from Fighting the Jews and the Christians. And feel themselves subdued. Do you see? Jizya. The ayah means this will compensate. It will be your composition for the closed markets. So Muhammad said to his people, to his army of thugs, don't worry, be happy. I have a solution. What is that solution, brother? Muhammad. If you fear that your markets are going to be closed, we have a solution. Allah will compensate them for the losses they incurred because they severed ties with idolaters. So they stopped trading with Jews, Christians, atheists, pagans, whatnot, right? With the Romans. Remember, the Romans were the Christians in the time of Muhammad. The Muslims used to trade business, do business with the yellow yellow ones right the yellow blondies they call them the the yellow blondies right the romans they were blonde so how we get money by fighting and forcing jizya they earned from the people of the scripture bam right you don't pay jizya you die brother Convert? You don't want to convert? You don't want to pay Jizya? We will kill you. We will cut off your head and we will take your daughter, wife, your aunts, your grandmothers as sex slaves. Bam! Do you see? Where did I lie? Is there any Muslim who dares to say, Rob Christian, you're lying? Any Muslim? Mayday, mayday. We have six dislikes, so that means we have Muslims. Guys, let me open my Skype. We have still time, right? Maybe we can catch a guest. Maybe we have a, a guest. Any Abdul? Do you have any Abdul? Six Abduls in the bushes. Where are you, brother? My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Is there any fish? Exactly, Christopher. Is there any fish that we can catch? My Skype is open, brother. Uh, only Muslims can call, guys. Because we have a very small window, right? Our brother Christian Prince is going to go live. So if there's a Muslim who thinks he has the courage and the knowledge to debate me, Rob Christian, say inshallah three times. Once is not enough because it's, you know, it's Rob Christian, brother. Say inshallah three times. Take a bath and then call me on Skype. My Skype is open, brother. You see? Send me a message. Call me and I will call you and let us debate. You know, you know, the funny thing is, guys, in the comment section, they spam the comment section, right? Under my videos. They are suddenly when our show is over, we are done, suddenly... They spam links and they become jihadi terrorists in the in the comment section, right? Under our videos. But when we are live, we open Skype, they don't dare to call us. Clearly, there's not, nothing fishy going on, right? The Muslims. Muhammad would be ashamed of you, right? We should buy a time travel machine, guys. Is there a Christian who invented the time machine already? Maybe something like a DeLorean from... Uh, that movie, Back to the Future. We take the DeLorean, we we'll go back in time, we take some keyboards with us, we hand the keyboards to Muhammad and his army of thugs, and take those swords from the hands of Muhammad and his army, 
give them jihadi keyboards, right? Maybe then Islam would become very peaceful here in the future, right? Brother, do we have any Muslim brother? We have six, seven dislikes already. No message. No call. What a shame. Shame on you Muslims. Shame on you for calling yourself Muslims, man. You are suddenly in the comment section, you are lions. But here you are puppies. You are kittens. Kittens. Kittens of Allah. That's what we should call you from on, brother. If you think you have the courage and the knowledge to refute me, to refute today's live show, I challenge you to call me and show me where we lied. You know, in the comment section under our videos, they are like, Roar! But when we are live, they become, Meow! Meow! The kittens of Allah, brother. I pity you Muslims. Meow brother. Kitty kitty kitty. I have some milk for you. Kitty kitty kitty. Come come come. Kitty kitty kitty. We have some eight dislikes. Kitty 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 kitty. Nothing. No call. Guys look. Only Christians are messaging me. Do you see it? We have our dear sister Hatun. She's asking me how I'm doing. I'm, I'm good uh, sister Hatun. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. God bless you. Where are the messages from the Muslims? Where are the calls, man? Brother, don't call Rob Christian. Because Rob Christian, anything you say as a Muslim on his live show will be used against you and your prophet in the court of law. That's They are warning each other. Don't call Rob Christian because anything you say, even if it's good, he's going to use it against you and your prophet in the court of law, brother. Don't call Rob Christian, brother. Become only a lion in the comment section. Don't act like a lion on his live show because Rob Christian is going to turn you into a kitten in front of everybody in the court of law. And you're going to become a joke of the live chat and the live show. So don't call him. Only text, text brother. Text brother, brother. Only become a keyboard jihadi, brother, brother. I mean Muslims, if you are truly following the religion of truth why are you so scared to call us why are you such kittens to call us shame on you muhammad would be ashamed of you you cannot even defend the religion of truth brother islam brother we are fasting fasting brother brother we're trying to become very peaceful in this month brother 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 Yeah, guys, I think we are out of Muslims. Uh, how, how, how many minutes do we have? Maybe we can take a Christian call since we are out of Muslims, guys. Suddenly they are all kittens. All, when we are live on air, they are kittens. But watch, when my live show ends, how many Muslims will start to comment as always, like always, in the comment section. We have a Christian caller, I think. All right, let us take this call. Hello? You're live on air. Hello? Hi, can you hear me now? Yes, welcome. You're live on air. Go ahead. Hi. Um, do you want me to stay on the topic or can I say anything? Go ahead. Uh, since we don't have any Muslims, go ahead. Um, I wanted to say that uh, I've watched um, three or four days ago one of D. Wood's debate and um, debate with Shab Shamun Live, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, a Muslim, uh, very interesting, said that uh, what's the use of um, exposing Islam if we don't promote Christianity? Yes. And I think he was kind of on the point. I think they they know what they believe, so we don't have to show them again. Uh, it's like we have to show them. So, like you, you are a blessing, um, Arab Thank speaker. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But I think we also at the same time promote for example, um, I'll, I'll, I'll do, um, I have a, the channel YouTube, I want to make a video how Jesus 
is uh, God. What is your What's your channel name? Because I want to ask our audience to subscribe to you. What's your channel name? Colossians one seventeen. Okay, guys, make sure to uh, help this brother out. Support him too. Help all the warriors in Christ. Support this our friend. Uh, right. Help him out too. Uh, give him some love. Share his your love with him too. Uh, I want to share knowledge, and I want them to give him powerful sure. weapons. Sure, share my friend. Right. Share my friend. Yeah, to his name is Colossians one. 17. So if you want to subscribe and help this brother out, go ahead. All right, go ahead, my friend. I wanted to show them, for example, how and why Jesus is God in Exodus. And then, um, mm -hmm. I, if you want, I'll give them a hint. Sure, my friend. You know, my friend, uh, we, we need all kind of people, right? Imagine if everybody is, is like uh, a Rob Christian exposing Islam. We need also people like you, my friend, uh, people like you who want to teach about Christianity. But the problem, yeah, yeah, and I think you know this already, the problem with Muslims is that if you don't break this wall around them, that is the Islamic wall, Muslims are never open for the gospel. So, you know, we have to do our part and then People like you, people like Sam Shimon, people like other people who want to teach oh, about Christianity, I'll they can come to you and then, you know, if they are open for the truth, then, you know. This is what I wanted to say, because mm -hmm. I, I thought three kinds exactly. of Muslims. The yes. one they know, but they want um, to keep stay like this because they're evil. Exactly. Ones that fear apostasy law, and I don't condemn them necessarily. Yes. And the third, it's we, the ones that are truly seek the truth. So I'm going to go for the ones that want the truth. My friend, uh, one thing, um, you're, you're correct, bro. I have to agree with you. But someone is saying in the, in the chat, someone is saying, I can't find uh, this brother's YouTube channel. Maybe if you want to leave a comment after the call so people will see uh, your comment and they can subscribe to you, okay? Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, if uh, they, I, I'll give you a hint how I'm going to prove it uh, for the Christians to see what kind of uh, things I'm going to teach. Yeah. Uh, as you all know, uh, Israel was in slavery for 400 years yes. uh, under different pharaohs. Yes, exactly. God waited for this particular pharaoh to go ahead with his plan. Yes. Now, for those of you who doesn't know the... Uh, Pharaoh at that time was Ramses the Great or Ramses the Second. He goes by both name. Mm -hmm. Does any of you know what Ramses mean? Uh, he's asking in the chat, guys. Anyone knows what Ramses mean? The name Ramses? Anyone in the live chat? Does anyone knows the meaning of the name? Maybe they don't know. Uh, what is the? Maybe you can explain. Go ahead, bro. Exactly. That's the point. Because Christians, they don't know. And I yeah. want to share with them. Ramses yeah. means literally the son of God, Ra. Ra. Exactly. Ram. Yeah. Ra. 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 Do you hear? Ramses. Ra. The son of Ra. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is sending Moses to tell him, you are not the son of God, but I am. Wow. That's a really, really good point. That's exactly. Why, yeah. That's why Jesus it's using um, uh, I am for the first time because he had already different titles. Yeah. Ex Exodus three fifteen, right? Exodus three fifteen. When Moses is asking, "Who should I say who sent me?" Uh, God says, "The I am sent you." Right? Jehovah. Yes. Exactly. And what happened in Egypt? Uh, we have the answer in Exodus twelve twelve, uh, which says that God brought judgment to the idols of Egypt, yeah? Yes. So, um, and then I want to use passages like, if you want to make even make a challenge, because you've got more subscribers, to yes. Proverbs 30, uh, verse 4, and tell us yeah. who that who is speaking of, because God says, you surely know this is how the uh, verse ends. Yes. Maybe you know it, you know who's uh, holding the wind and who's doing all that. Uh, mm -hmm. What is his name and what is his son name? Surely you know, that's the verse. I want yes. them to ask us if they know the son's name of the one who's holding the winds. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. uh, this is what, what I wanted to tell you that I'm going to go different. I'm going to go like more sure, bro. style. We need people oh. like you too. 
exactly. to answer them from yeah. the Bible because they don't know what the Bible said. Yeah. Uh, I just watched S.C. Um, uh, Dava, Middle East, just uh, brought up uh, a video uh, related to this with Jesus being God. Yeah. And Christians simply have no answer and they still go there with the same thing. But Exactly. You know? uh, what this uh, brother's guy is saying in a nutshell, if you want to go on attack mode, you know, you want to do apologetics, the best way is doing that from the defense. If you don't have defense, your offense is going to be weak. So to have a good apologetics knowledge, you know, best offense comes from defense. So you need to learn how to defend your faith before you can expose exactly. another fake religion like Islam. Exactly, then, brother. Amen to that. And then we're going to go for the violent verses in Old Testament because um, they are fun. And yeah. I want to do because I've seen no uh, no good answer to them, to be honest. Yeah. Well, uh, well, when Muslims, for example, when Muslims, they love to attack the violence verses in the old testament guys this is the old testament that they always attack yeah. yeah those verses can be found the same story can be found in the quran chapter 5 ayah 20 to 26 it's the same story muslims are such hypocrites and the irony is on them that muhammad stole these stories the violent stories that we can find right in the time of the jews when the jews are under the old covenant under the 613 mosaic laws those same stories can be found in the quran chapter 5 ayah 20 to 26 so muslims if you want to attack the violent verses in the time of the jews at least look in your own broken mirror because the same story is in the quran yeah exactly. that's yeah, i've told you if you feel like call me anytime because i've got a lot of answers say when they go for those um verses yeah. i I encourage Christian brother to say thanks God that those verses are there because yeah. if they weren't there yeah. you wouldn't be here today exactly exactly my friend thank you for calling uh, yeah. we, we have very small short window thank you for for this okay. call guys f make sure to uh, support this brother of ours maybe you can like I said uh, leave a comment in the live chat so they can find you and help you okay I will okay uh, I want to thank you to join our live show. Thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. Download our videos. If you want to support our ministry, because we are in full-time ministry, that's the Patreon link, guys. Also, make sure to subscribe. Smash that like button if you didn't already. And I want to say, go with the peace of our holy Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory to His name, the name above all names. Every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord, including you Muslims. To the Muslims, Muhammad was nothing but a mafia cult leader, a mafia leader who wanted to force mafia protection money on the Jews and the Christians. The only job of the Muslims in the time of Muhammad was fighting and fighting alone. When Muslims started to complain to Muhammad, we will go bankrupt. Muhammad said, don't worry, be happy. I have a solution and that's jizya, the protection mafia money that we are going to force on the Jews and the Christians. So your only job is fight, fight, fight. Jihad, stage three, jihad, fi sabil Allah and the prophet of Islam, right? Stage three, that's the true Islam. That's the true jihad. Stage one and two is nothing but taqiyya. Taqiyya mode on, taqiyya mode on. Stage three, the Qiyamur is off and Muslims don't need to say anymore, Islam is peace, right? They don't need to use Mecca of Allah, the deception of Allah and his prophet anymore. Guys, thank you for watching. Go in peace. Jesus is Lord and Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. Thank you for watching and Lord willing, we will see each other in a future live show. God bless.